Hello, my name is Joe Regev. Thank you for joining me for the voltage controlled oscillator uh, session. We will touch some uh, phase noise basics also uh, in this session. So VCOs or uh, voltage controlled uh, oscillators are usually employed within uh, PLLs. Uh, these are uh, the circuits that uh, usually uh, provide the local oscillator signals, either uh, the, the VCO output or harmonic or subharmonic of this uh, um, VCO output will be the mixer's LO uh, that was mentioned uh, when we talked uh, about mixers before. Um, some of the design considerations um, we would like to uh, mention up front is definitely uh, phase noise, which is uh, um, a noise that we want to minimize um, during the design uh, phase. And we will start with understanding a little bit more about phase noise. Uh, we want the uh, voltage controlled uh, oscillator uh, frequency uh, or output frequency to be tunable within the desired uh, frequency range for uh, the specific system. So the VCO needs to be uh, uh, capable of delivering all these uh, frequencies. Um, other design considerations that uh, we, we take into consideration are a even harmonic distortion. It was mentioned when we talked about mixers and uh, also AM to PM uh, conversion. Phase noise. Um, so ideal oscillators uh, will just generate pure sinusoidal uh, waves. Uh, if we will investigate uh, the frequency domain or the spectrum of these uh, sine waves, we will just uh, see uh, um, uh, deltas uh, in the frequency domain at the right frequency um, and uh, all the all the uh, signal power will be really concentrated at a single frequency, uh, the op the oscillation uh, frequency. However, physical um, oscillators have what we call phase noise, and uh, this uh, can be seen in the frequency domain as some um, ener the energy is not really focused in the exact. Um, oscillation frequency, but there is uh, a, a, an area or there is a range um, that the energy will take a, sh a shape of a skirt um, where the energy will be uh, concentrated. So it's, rather than being on a single frequency, we will have uh, a uh, power uh, or energy concentration that is uh, uh, reversely proportional to the distance from the center frequency. So this is the present representation in the uh, frequency domain. In time domain, the same uh, physical phenomena uh, is called jitter. Uh, and uh, basically, if we uh, ideally um, expect to see uh, an ideal sun, sine wave, uh, the jitter will, uh, will uh, actually introduce itself as, uh, as uh, uh, the sine wave uh, being uh, jittered or uh, non-stable uh, versus time. So it's more blurry uh, if, we, if we just uh, uh, test it on a scope, for example, uh, the sine wave will be a little bit uh, blurry and not really uh, ideal sine wave. So why is uh, phase noise uh, important at all? Uh, let's just uh, look at uh, a simple example. Assuming that we have a local oscillator um, signal which has some phase noise. And uh, let's uh, even assume that we have uh, the information at our frequencies is, is more than one frequency. We have a strong signal here and maybe a, a lower signal here. Both are uh, um, important for us, both our data. Um, and if we do a down conversion to uh, an IF uh, frequency, uh, we may find that we get the strong signal, but the weaker 
signal uh, may be buried under the skirt of the uh, original LO signal uh, or it's actually buried in the phase noise. And that's why we would like to minimize phase noise because we don't want to lose data. We don't want to lose this um, um, RF uh, information when we down convert. Measuring uh, phase noise um, or short-term uh, frequency instabilities uh, involve uh, measure, measurement of a uh, the measurement of the uh, energy in a frequency band usually one hertz uh, wide um, and taking this energy and comparing it or normalizing it to the energy of uh, the signal at a center frequency. So, as we can see here, we have a signal, uh, physical signal with a phase noise, and uh, the way we measure or the, the way we um, um, qualify the phase noise of the signal is by taking a, a bandwidth of one hertz uh, distant um, delta F hertz from center frequency, checking the energy in this uh, one hertz slice and uh, compare it to the energy in a center frequency. And if we uh, look at the phase noise uh, expression, so basically in dBs it will be uh, 10 times the logarithmus of uh, uh, the power in one uh, sideband of one hertz which is a delta W um, uh, hertz far away from center frequency. So we take this power and we normalize it to the power of the carrier, which is a center frequency. So this is the uh, simple mathematical expression describing uh, the phase noise uh, in dB. Gleason uh, model can be found in the literature uh, as a model for a signal uh, phase noise. And uh, basically, um, it mimics the uh, physical behavior of most uh, um, uh, signal uh, phase noise uh, behavior. So uh, if this is a center frequency, what we will find if we use a spectrum analyzer, that is if we are getting uh, far away from uh, center frequency, uh, the noise will behave like a thermal noise. So there's a noise floor here. And um, at some frequency, uh, the noise will start uh, um, behaving um, as uh, one divided by F squared. So this is, uh, uh, this is where the phase noise become more significant and when we get closer to uh, the carrier or when de delta w is uh, very very small uh, the phase noise start uh, behaving uh, like a one over f uh, to the third so uh, mathematically uh, the uh, the performance that we can see here graphically is described in this expression uh, what we can see here is uh, of course the result in dB of uh, um, two, a, two powers. Here we can see really the, uh, the, the, the noise figure um, normalized to the carrier frequency as we described before and in uh, um, frequencies very far away from the carrier where delta W is uh, large enough Okay, we have delta W in this, in this term here and we have it here. So when delta W is uh, large enough, uh, this expression really um, um, close to one and the, uh, we just get the, the phase noise. So we just get the uh, noise level that is uh, constant with frequency. But when, um, when delta W become uh, small enough or when we get close enough to the carrier, uh, this term uh, right here, the cubic term, 
uh, start to uh, take effect and actually make this uh, expression right here uh, bigger and bigger than 1. Okay, so it has a 1 over f squared uh, performance like uh, we see here. Uh, what we can also see here is uh, omega zero, which is the center frequency of uh, oscillation, and QL um, that we see here is uh, the quality factor of the inductor that was mentioned in the early, early um, uh, beginning of this uh, seminar, uh, inductor um, sessions. Um, and uh, actually this expression um, deals with this re uh, region in, uh, in frequency domain. And of course, there will be some frequency. Uh, this is uh, where um, uh, the ratio between this frequency and uh, the distance from the carrier becomes uh, significant. Then we will see the uh, performance of the noise or the phase noise is a, a more um, looking like 1 over f uh, to the third. After uh, understanding a little bit more uh, the, the behavior and how we measure phase noise, um, let's talk uh, about ideal oscillator. Uh, so ideal oscillator will have an LC tank uh, or a lossless LC tank, uh, ideal LC tank. Uh, that would oscillate if supplied with some uh, initial energy. So if we uh, charge the capacitor, for example, uh, this circuit will, uh, will oscillate. It will oscillate because the, uh, uh, the capacitor will discharge through the inductor um, and, uh, and, and, and vice versa. And the amplitude of these uh, oscillations will uh, depend on the initial energy that uh, was supplied uh, to, uh, to the capacitor, to the tank. And um, uh, the energy will be measured by a half uh, the capacitance times uh, um, the peak voltage uh, oscillation uh, square. Uh, the frequency of oscillation will be 1 over square uh, LC, which is a very known um, expression. And of course, the uh, uh, inductor uh, current will be equal to the um, in, uh, capacitor current because there's no current coming in or out the, the tank. And it will be uh, C times the uh, voltage differential uh, with, with, the, with time. So it's a C dVc uh, to dt. And we will use it later on when we... Uh, further uh, analyze uh, physical oscillators. Thank you for joining me to uh, the first uh, VCO and uh, phase noise session. In this session we just uh, covered the basic phase noise and ideal, oscillation, uh, ideal oscillators. Uh, in the next sessions uh, we will uh, uh, get more into the details of designing VCOs and minimizing and understanding phase noise behavior.